Hello everybody. Assalamu alaikum. This is Fatma Hade Manjari and you are in the class of copywriting. Today we're going to talk about writing effective copy. There are plenty of styles, very different styles of writing body copy for an advertisement. And today we're going to look at what are those different styles and how can you differently write copy for advertisements. When we talk about copy, we say copy is the soul of an advertisement. Hence, copy is supposed to be given extra attention and care when you're writing one. In print media, an advertisement copy is made up of headline, sub-headlines, body of the copy, illustration, logo type, slogan and brand name. All these different elements we have studied ahead already. So you're familiar with all these terms. All this together is part of the copy for an advertisement. Ad copy is a product of collective efforts of copywriters, artists, and layout men. So together, it's not just one person who's working on the copy. There are multiple people. However, in the changing world of digital media today, a lot of tasks is done by one person alone. Let's look at what are the essentials of writing effective copy. So the first and the foremost thing for a copy that it is supposed to be brief and brevity is the soul of wit. If you want to even make something humor or witty in a copy, never can you achieve this by writing long and tedious copy. So the copy has to be short and brevity is the key to it. Most readers are interested in short advertisements. Why? Because you can quickly read and as we see today, that people's uh, span of time and span of attention has becoming shorter. You know, so we really are more focusing more on short copy. So being brief is not only dropping words or chopping sentences. You cannot just chop off a sentence in order to make it look short and brief. You have to, uh, in fact, from the beginning, try to come up with a copy that is very precise and brief. It cuts to the core and it is to the point and yet it covers everything what it has to say. Let's look at these two examples. You see the first ad of a tic tac. You lost me at hello. All right. And that's all the ad says on a very plain background, which is a bright, vibrant orange color. And in the end, there is another line with a tic tac logo that says, Breath speaks louder than words. All right. So here you can connect it to the earlier copy that is in the center of the ad. You lost me at hello. So the moment the person spoke up hello, the fresh breath, it took them away. Right. So very short, very precise. And yet it gives you the entire concept. So even though there are no visuals in this ad. All right. Even then, you can see, you can visualize everything. The moment it says, you lost me at hello, breath speaks louder than words. You can automatically visualize two people, one uh, who's consuming the tic-tac has a fresher breath. Simple. So how clear, how precise, how brief the copy is, and yet it gives you the entire concept. Similarly, look at the other ad that's there. The perfect addition to date night. That's what you read when you look at the image and the copy that's highlighted in, in a particular bold font in front of you. All right. So the moment you read this, the perfect addition to date night, it gets you intrigued. And that's exactly what this ad is doing. It's a Facebook ad. And what you see here is then once this gets this copy gets your attention, then you can read the details and the descriptions of the ad. All right. So you can see. Connect with your partner in new and intimate ways through intimacy deck. If you've been together for 15 months or 50 years, these prompts can help you communicate better and enjoy quality time. So now you understand that this is a deck of cards. It says intimacy deck and it has prompts to communicate. So then you know what it is and you want to know more so that you can shop for it and you can get your own intimacy deck. So that's the art of copy. If it's brief, it's short, it is just the right amount of words to get the reader hooked or intrigued. 
The second thing, the foremost thing for a copy is it should be clear. So a clear copy is quickly read and it's easily grasped by readers. It is unambiguous and self-explaining. It's just one fast click. And then also that clarity gives clue to interpretation. If something is short, precise, and at the same time, it's also clear, then you know that there will be lesser chances of misinterpreting what you're trying to say. So it is interpreted clearly and distinctly, and also dependent on factors such as local tradition habits, customs, and nationality. So when you are trying to write for a particular audience, you should focus on these particular facts. That whatever you write, it should be clear according to that uh, city, that country, and their country's tradition and habits and customs, because then it's easier to understand the meaning. Look at the two ads that you have in front. So the first ad is Mass Bells, Machar Aap Se Dur, Rehne Pe Majboor. All right, it's such a apt one line and the best thing that you can see about this is they have not used more words in order to emphasize ke where exactly Mospel is going to help you to save yourself from mosquitoes. If the image is divided into two, one's the daylight and one's indoors, daylight and outdoors and one's indoors and at night time. So it is giving you a clear picture. So the copy is there. And then the copy is supported by the uh, uh, very smart visuals of day and night, telling you that Mospel is going to protect you even in day, outdoor, or even at night, indoors. And then the other ad that you should see, if it's of Dettol, skin so healthy, it glows, right? Now this is, in both these ads, what you can see is the clarity of message. And that's the art of copy. Also, the fact that visuals are supporting equally to the copy. So here you see that not only copy, but the visuals together, it is so clear and distinct that you cannot go wrong with understanding or interpreting the ad. The third important point about copywriting is it is apt. All right. Now, when we say it is apt, and copy is apt that matches to the needs and the counts of prospects. All right. So now, what does the customer need? All right. If you actually hit your copy on the need of your customer and the viewer, then your copy is apt. So writing an apt copy is the art of putting in the words that create strong desire to possess the product. Where the product features or the qualities satisfy the consumer's desire to possess it. Now, so for that, use the most suitable USB. All right. So <clears throat> you know that this is the product and it's ki yes are features hai. Magar iski USB kya hai? So USB as you know is the unique selling point, right? So out of all the features, which is the most highlighted feature of the product? And does that highlighting feature will create, uh, is that a need of the customer? Will it create the desire to possess it? And then you focus on that particular USB. Let's look at the ads here. The first ad is of service shoes. And you say you see that it's Shahid Afridi in the ad. And it's a very simple ad. The visuals are very basic, all right? It's a very um, cost-effective ad, if you could see, but not so cost-effective because Shahid Afridi is there, right? Now, so since you, they have used a star to promote the brand, they really did not focus much on the other kind of visuals here or the colors. So let alone be the critique of colors and uh, the overall visual element of the ad, what you can see here is the sportsman's choice. So they used Shahid Afidi and the copy that they used is the sportsman's choice. So that's it. No more needs to be said here. And then the need that is being addressed by service that this is the choice for everyone who is into sports. And Shahid Afidi is promoting it. So it is crystal clear, concise, and at the same time, apt. You see the other ad of Surf Excel. Now this is the ad that was uh, released during Ramazan. 
In Ramazan, they chose to give a right for this ad is Neki Ek Ibadat, right? So this copy in the month of Ramazan is the most apt copy, all right? So the entire ad had a, had a, had a uh, you know, concept where this boy goes through a certain process in order to bring the siftari for his grandfather, right? And Neki Ek Ibadat, because of the Ramzan perspective and the entire concept of the ad is the most apt message that Surf Excel used during the month of Ramazan. Now, the last one of the uh, elements of the copy is it is personal. So it presents something of interest to the prospect, customer, or the viewer. It is an individualized appeal copy. So it is written from the prospect to product rather than the product to the prospect. All right. And also the fact that your copy must have a you attitude. So the first thing that you need to really look into is that is it personal to the viewer or not? And how would you make it personal? You make it look like his personalized, individualized need and appeal. And if the copy has the you attitude embedded in it, then it talks to the customer directly. Let's look at this ad. The first one is Lipton's ad. My tea has zero calories, yours. So it is directly talking to the customer and, you know, uh, personalizing it in a way that the very good looking um, actress, Indian actress who's very popular, says that my tea has zero calories and yours. So it's, it's quite a verbatim created with the copy here. And the second ad that you see is of MCB. Aapki tarha bashaur. All right. Now, you see what they're targeting here is ladies account. All right. And what they chose as a visual is five different females from different professions. They're dressed and you can see uh, some things about them that, that's telling you that they're different professions, okay? Uh, you know a couple of faces, you may not know the other couple of faces. However, you can figure out these are five ladies from different uh, professional backgrounds. And since it's a ladies account, Aapki Tarhan Bashaur says everything. That if you are uh, Bashaur, then you would open up an account with MCB, the ladies account. Right, so very personalized copy because it's directly speaking to women and it's a women ladies account for a bank. But lastly, it should be honest. Credibility or believability of an ad's message is decided by the extent of honesty in the ad. So an ad to be good must be truthful. Misleading or misinterpreted facts made in the copy only damages the reputation of a um, of the company. So to win the hearts of the cust customers or consumers is to be honest and honesty should be reflected in your copy. Take a look at this. Bone strong to me strong. All right. And calcium plus. So Nesvita is for milk and milk does have a calcium um, content in it. Right. So there's nothing wrong about it and uh, whatever they're portraying as a benefit that this milk is going to make your bones strong you know that there's nothing dishonest about this similarly pakistan's best stain re removal in one wash now you also know that ariel is that washing brand um, that claims to be number one uh, number one pakistan's uh, or pakistan's best brand and that removes stains in first wash well both the claims is true because you know that it's a good washing powder and it's one of the best. That's all for today about effective copywriting and what are the different things that you need to be careful about writing copy and effective copy. So following these rules, hopefully we can all try to write a better copy. Thank you so much.